Like many San Diegans, shopping in Tijuana was a holiday tradition for my family. That was long before the drug cartel war and the resulting drop in American tourism. But Mexican officials say that's changing again, and slowly tourists are returning to Baja. Here to talk about what's being done to bring tourists back to Mexico is my guest, Baja Secretary of Tourism Juan Tintos. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Secretary Tintos, uh, now you've said that tourism in 2012 has been the best it's been in five years. Yes. Uh, how, first of all, how are you able to find that out? Well, we have certain indicators related a lot to American tourists. For example, we're the second most visited cruise ship destination in Mexico, second only to Cozumel. Uh, we've had uh, about a 30% increase in participants in our off-road races, bike rides, different tourist events. We've had famous American chefs like Anthony Bourdain and Rick Bayless come and film their programs in Baja. We reactivated the film industry. We just recently had Robert Redford filming in Rosarito Beach for three months. So those are t one of, some of the type of indicators that let us know that American tourists are coming back. Uh, as of this year. Well, the drug cartel war and ensuing violence and, of course, the most recent gruesome headlines of those uh, uh, more than 100 bodies discovered that were mm -hmm. dissolved in lie uh, has kept tourists away for some mm -hmm. time. What's being done to protect tourists now and, and uh, assure them that they're safe? Well, we went through some tough times uh, through 2008, 2009. Actually, this incident, been in, which is an ongoing investigation, is from back from those years. But we have not had any tourist-related incidents. We offer a 078 tourist assistance line that you can call for anything for information or orientation. Uh, bilingual city police in all of our destinations our offices are open seven days a week. We have a tourist assistance office, bilingual personnel, and uh, also the Green Angels uh, free mechanical service on the roads uh, that go through Baja's highways. Those are just some of the examples, but basically we, go, we uh, work very, very closely also with the U.S. consulate in Tijuana for any type of tourist that may need any assistance. Fortunately, the numbers have gone, been going down. And it's become available. Um, you've also been very proactive in making uh, some places in Baja very attractive destination points. Mm -hmm. Give us some mm -hmm. highlights of, I'm thinking the winery tours. Oh, what, yeah. what else is it? Well, our route wine, Ruta del Vino, was declared Mexico's number one tourism route. Uh, we produce 90% of Mexico's wines. That's been a big reason, along with the Baja Met cuisine, why we've had famous chefs coming down and film and go through there. Uh, we've become a very important uh, destination for medical tourism, both in Tijuana and Mexicali also. The world's number one spa is in Tecate. Uh, and Tecate was just this past Friday declared a magical town, which is a federal program in Mexico. There are only 83 cities of over 2,000 of them in Mexico. This was a, a declaration also. And the cuisine, the, the contrast of scenery between the Pacific Ocean and then we have San Felipe and the Sea of Cortez, with warm waters. The great. surfing, we just saw some yeah, video of the, the surfing. surfing. It's a surfing bottom. destination point it's as well. a lot of surfers and sports fishermen that come down there. And what about the conventions? I know uh, Innovadora Convention in Tijuana recently, yeah. that was huge, a, a big success. Yes. Is that something that you, your office has specifically worked on to try to get conventions? We support these types of major international events because we get international figures. We've had in 2010, Larry King, former Vice President Al Gore, uh, the world president of uh, different uh, companies that come down uh, to Tijuana for this two-week uh, event. Uh, we had the Baja Culinary Festival where we had famous chefs come there for the six-day event. And we've taken a lot of this as a strategy. We're letting the famous people come down and talk good about Baja. People like Sylvester Stallone, who was at the studios, Robert Redford, the chefs, uh, different uh, international figures. Sort of, uh, it's sort of, yeah, being figureheads, uh, doing a little work for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A lot of cruise lines discontinued their stops in Baja yeah. ports because of that violence. Um, but are they returning now? Well, they never left Ensenada. Okay. Uh, Ensenada is the only port of what they call the Mexican Riviera that they've continued. We've gone from sixth to second place. We're second only to Cozumel right now. We should be uh, nearing half a million passengers this year, mostly Americans, mostly from the Southern California area. 
They love the wine country, the shopping, the Bahamut cuisine, the blowhole, the Bufadora, all the surroundings there. And it's a, a new wine museum that was inaugurated this uh, uh, summer in the Guadalupe Valley. So yes, we have a, a reactivation and increase in cruise ship tourism. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time, but people can uh, hear more about this uh, on our website. We've got yes. some nice uh, links there. So Baja Secretary of Tourism, Juan Tintos, thanks so much. For Thank you very us. much.